Taking a look now at some court news from Southside, Virginia, a man from Martinsville who was arrested last month on racketeering charges in an alleged drug distribution ring was recently indicted by a grand jury for an altercation that he had with Henry County deputies in July of this year. According to the Martinsville Bulletin, Henry County Deputy Tiffany Boyd responded to a motor vehicle accident on Figsboro Road, and that was on July the 28th. In her complaint, Boyd wrote, the 911 caller reported a black truck had been driving erratically and had wrecked into a tree line at the intersection of Figsboro Road and Apple Tree Circle. When Boyd arrived, Waylon Cox Ingram allegedly grabbed Patricia Cox Ingram, his wife, and began using her as a body shield and pulling her into the road, where moderate traffic was going both ways. Boyd wrote that she managed to get one cuff onto Waylon Cox Ingram when he broke away, ran to Boyd's patrol vehicle, got behind the wheel, and tried to close the door. When Boyd tried to pull him out of her car, Cox Ingram resisted and struggled with Boyd, grabbing at her gun. Now, Boyd wrote that Cox Ingram assaulted her by grabbing her by the legs and attempting, attempted to pull her to the ground. Another deputy began assisting Boyd, and Boyd wrote that the other deputy was also assaulted by Waylon Cox Ingram. Deputy Boyd wrote that Cox Ingram was acting erratically, and once he was placed in cuffs and was being moved to the back of her patrol vehicle, he became unresponsive and had to be administered Narcan twice. Boyd continued, saying it was also apparent that Cox Ingram was under the influence of narcotics, and it was confirmed that he was the driver of the vehicle that had wrecked. As a result, 39-year-old Waylon Cox Ingram was indicted by a Henry County Circuit Court grand jury on two counts of assault and battery of a law enforcement officer, attempt to disarm a law enforcement officer, attempted carjacking, and possession with intent to distribute cocaine, second offense. On October the 4th of this year, Patricia Cox Ingram, along with Waylon Cox Ingram, Vincent Ingram, Quincy Penn, Janice Draper, and Anthony Albanese, were all charged with money laundering and racketeering. Whalen and Patricia Cox Ingram were also charged with two counts of distribution of 100 grams of methamphetamine, distribution of cocaine, second offense, two counts of endangering the life of a child, two counts of conspiring to distribute more than 100 grams of methamphetamine, and conspiring to distribute cocaine. Now, to read more about these indictments and other indictments in Henry County, you can pick up a copy of the Martinsville Bulletin or visit their website, martinsvillebulletin.com.